In this video, we're going to learn about uh, how to use lookup component to show all the contacts in your art in the screen flow. The use of lookup component in screen flow is fairly simple. However, when it comes to show all the contacts in your org, that's where it's not pretty straightforward. We got to, you know, do a little work around and to get this, you know, to, to get away with this, uh, to get away with this issue and to show all the contacts in your org. So to demonstrate this, what I have done is I have started creating a screen flow. And I'm going to create a screen and let me add, you know, lookup, uh, lookup components to show, you know, few fields and including context and then see what the issue is. Then we'll talk about the solution. Okay. So I'll try to create a screen element and uh, I'm going to name it as show lookup. And I'm going to just bring. lookup component so this time i'm going to show let's say let's go back to the account so this is my account object and i have i have uh, these are my lookup fields right uh, so except this all are you know standard lookup which is fine so this is a custom you know lookup field added in the account object to show different partner types channel partners so let's see if this works fine and then we'll also add you know contact i'm going to copy this api name Okay, I'll just go back to the flow. So right here, I can just give any API name partner underscore type. And this in, in place of field API name, I'm going to just put the exact API name of the field. So we'll give you a label partner type. And uh, in place of object API, of course, it has to be, it has to be account. And then uh, because it is this, this custom lookup field exists in the account object. So I'm just going to give object API as account. I'm going to add one more lookup. Let's say I want to use one standard lookup. Let's say uh, user. I just go back to the account and let's bring this created by. So I'm just going to copy the field API name created by ID. I'm going to use that right here and I'll just say created by user. That's the label I'm going to give. And of course, this is in the account object done. And now I'll just add another lookup and I'll just say contacts. And I'll go back to the account and uh, I'll just copy the field API name, put it right here. And I'm going to name it as contacts, yeah, contact. And the object API name, it is account, right? So let's, let's say done and then see what happens. I'll just save this, try to put this in debug mode. So, yeah. So I can see three lookup uh, components, right, in my screen. I'm gonna search for a particular partner type. So if I just search for technology, I can just see, you know, technology channel partner. If I just search for marketing, I just see marketing partner, which is good. And then the created by user, I can see, you know, uh, the user that I recently used. I can search for other users. You know, I have a user with the name Chatter Expert. So that is also appearing. I'll go to contact. I'm going to look for a contact with the name James. It says, you know, it doesn't show anything. But back in my R, I do have a contact with the name James Peterson. Let me try, you know, Jane and see what happens. So I'll just search for Jane. Again, nothing happens, right? So I'll click on enter, I just click enter. So again, you know, I do have an option to choose, but I'm not seeing anything right here. So it says no results or no context content. So this is the problem that I was talking about. So we just followed the same, you know, uh, same syntax and same way to configure contact lookup, but, but why contact lookup did not work and what is it that I need to do to make it work? So we'll just see that shortly. I'll close this one, okay. I am going to just do one simple change, okay? So in place of this field API name and object name, right? I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna say master record ID. And the object, I'm gonna say contact. That's it. And uh, let me just say done. Okay, save. And let's click on debug. Let's say 
Chosun, technology partner, this is fine. And now you can see this red contacts are appearing, correct? Let me search for James. Of course, I do say James. I do see James Peterson. Let me search for Jane. Of course, I do see Jane, right? So now you can see how to solve that problem, right? Now, the next thing is how do you read this, you know, read the data? Uh, I've just selected technology partner, butterfly as a you know, user and uh, Jane, right? From the contact lookup. How do we read this? Let's also do that. So I'll create one more screen. I'm going to say uh, selected lookup values. That's going to be the name of my screen. Okay. And let me just add a display text. And I'll give a name. Show selected values. Okay. Of course, it's an API name. It cannot take any space. So I'll just replace space with underscore and right here i'm going to say partner type colon i'm going to say um, contact name okay. so i just place my cursor right here and insert resource i'm just going to click and then see from the previous screen right the the partner type lookup i'll click and then i'll just uh, get the record name yeah and from the contact name again i'll just place my cursor right here i'll click from the previous screen component this is my contact lookup. i'll click and then i'll use record id yeah and uh, let's see how it works then we can you know cross it i'll just make it bold okay. i'll make this bold as well i'll say done and now let's save this debug all right I'll choose a partner, let's say marketing partner, and the contact. I'm just going to search for G. Yeah. I'll click on next, and as you can see, right? I can see the marketing partner, and now I can see the con ID of you know J. So I want the exact name, isn't it? So which I can certainly do. If I go back to my screen, and uh, if I click, and then instead of this record ID, yeah, I'm gonna delete this one. Keep my cursor there and then in the insert resource, I can just choose the lookup and then record name and say 10. So now let's see what happens. Debug. Yeah, and let me say technology partner and it's going to be Jane this time. Let's say next. That's it. You, this is how you, know, you can able to access both, you know, the ID and the name of the contact yeah so the key the key part the, the key takeaway you know on this video is when you configure contact lookup in your flow yeah ensure that you are using master record id so this is a this is a way how you can able to show all the contacts in your auth in the lookup component you know in your screen flow